In Animate CC, you can find some different file formats. These file formats can be seen as HTML5 Canvas, WebGL, ActionScript 3, and the other file formats too, like uh, Air for Desktop, Android, or iOS. Some different versions you can find in this program. For to do some uh, animations, we can click to HTML5 Canvas and we can start with using HTML5 Canvas section. This is your artboard and you can use this stage as artboard uh, and you can magnify with the pressing control with your wheel up in your mouse and also the magnification will be over your cursor. If you lost your stage, you can press Ctrl-1 or Ctrl-O. This will show you the default view of your program. Also, you can use this program as a stage. Whatever you will do, you will uh, use over the stage. By using Space Tool, you can use as a hand tool In here, this is the most important menu. The name is Properties menu. Whatever you will do, you should look over the Properties menu. And in here, this is your timeline. This is another important menu too. As you see, there is a blank frame in here. And if I will click over it, you will see the formats of the file and also the other properties of this document, like a stage color. This in here, that stage, also the left side is a toolbar, upside is a standard menu bar, as you see, the all are controlling from the properties menu. Let me start with the, adding a name to the layer. Let me click one time, I am putting as a name and motion. Let me start the animation. As you see, we can magnify our all frames in here. Is a fifth, tenth, and fifteenth. This all will be in here. Is a symbolically shows that the animation. We can magnify in here. And also we can add some different times. Also we can adjust the frame per second section in here. We can uh, increase the frame per second and we can decrease too. We, I advise you, you should put in 24, not uh, down. That means in one second this will be 24 per second. 24 frames per second. In here, this program is a vector-based program, so this is the stroke color and the fill color can be seen in here. You can adjust the stroke color in there. As you see, I am adjusting my stroke color in here. I deleted my stroke color and I am selecting as a red as my fill color. This is my first frame and I am creating my ellipse and I am moving it. I pressed my geometrical form with my selection tool. The selection tool shortcut of the selection tool is Y. As you see this is selected. In my first frame, in my first frame, and also the one second later, when I came in here, I pressed over my frame in 24th frame, and from my keyboard, F6 I pressed. That means I put a new keyframe. In my first time, as you see in the left 
stage of the canvas there is a one rate geometrical form in the 24th of the uh, time i mean the one second later this will be in another direction now let me change the direction as you see i put from the left to the right now this is holding from the, until the 23 but in the 24 as you see this is changing now i can put the motion in here with using the different different uh, destinations i can move it let me see again in my first frame it is the left if you say again the another frame as you see this is in the right but there is no connection between two, those two frames i am clicking right click and i am adding shape tween in here and this animation will be left to the right now let us see in html5 browser as you see this animation is going to the left to the right left to the right this is very basic animation this course is the fundamentals of the animation uh, and let me do another thing as another basic thing uh, let me change the color and let me change now as you see the animation is going and also the color is changing too 